Every year, ISC attracts a large, diverse group of people from throughout the world. It's a great place to see what the HPC community is doing to help advance science and engineering and to learn more about key trends and technologies in this fast-changing market. Last year, people talked a lot about big data analytics and the exascale race. This year, the emphasis shifted to AI and machine learning. Exascale initiatives in Europe, North America, and Asia are closer to the finish line, and quantum computing is coming into focus. In this video, we'll see highlights from the ISC 2018 conference in Frankfurt. This year marks the 25th anniversary of the list of the world's top 500 supercomputers, casually known as the Top 500 list. To mark that occasion, ISC hosted a panel on the Top 500's continuing relevance. There was also a changing of the guard. China's Tianhe 2 system led the pack for the past few editions of the list, but this week, a new LINPAC leader emerged, the Summit Supercomputer at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. Congratulations. In recent years, the Top 500 list has become multi-dimensional. It now includes the Green 500 list of the world's most energy-efficient supercomputers, along with results of the HPCG benchmark. A highlight of ISC 2018 was the conference keynote by Maria Girone, CTO of CERN Open Lab, on tackling tomorrow's computing challenges. We heard that today, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN operates 750,000 processor cores and nearly half an exabyte of disk storage. The next generation High Luminosity Collider, due out in 2026, will need 50 to 100 times more computing capacity and exabytes of storage. We also learned that CERN is making important contributions to a promising new cancer treatment called hadron therapy. Here, carbon and other ions replace today's protons and radiation treatments with strong potential for better outcomes and lower toxicity. This is moving fast. By 2020, there will be about 100 centers around the world offering hadron therapy, at least 30 of them in Europe. The Tuesday keynote by Karen Bergman of Columbia University presented pioneering research on embedded photonics to speed data movement, save energy costs, and pave the way for interconnects tailored to specific applications. Now in his second year, the ISC Machine Learning Day tracks the convergence of HPC and AI, today meaning mostly machine learning with some deep learning. AI is highly visible in the 2018 ISC Technical Program and Exhibition. One year ago, in June 2017, Germany became the first country in the world to enact thoughtful regulations governing self-driving vehicles. HPC is at the forefront of R&D for automated driving systems, precision medicine, and a host of other important AI developments. A major attraction of any ISC conference is the exhibition. Highlights this year included important innovations made possible by simulation, analytics, and visualization. There were 162 exhibitors, 111 of them from industry, and 24 brand new to ISC. Atos and several other vendors showcased quantum computing advances ranging from early quantum computers to software simulators for use on-premise or in the cloud. In the opening panel, Cray CTO Steve Scott was among those who discussed the relevance of the top 500 after 25 years. Later, Raj Hazra of Intel gave a talk with the intriguing title, Supercomputing Redefined. If you attended that talk, you probably came away intrigued. Satoshi Matsuoka, the new director of the Rikin Center for Computational Science, and an ISC fellow, reviewed plans for the post-K computer, including the processor and its potential impact on the ARM HPC ecosystem. Huawei displayed their Atlas and Computon Cube. Atlas turns compute subsystems into resource pools and re-aggregates them with an HPC fabric. Quite a trick. 
The Computon Cube boasts theoretical performance of nearly two petaflops per module. Another annual ISC highlight is the Vendor Showdown, where vendors present their newest products, strategies, and research, and are then subjected to a barrage of probing questions from HPC experts. The Industrial Day is a long-standing ISC focus area. It's designed to show ISC attendees how companies, large and small, including SMEs, apply HPC simulation and analytics to speed product development and boost their competitiveness. An important focus was on the use of digital twins, computer replicas of physical products or processes to improve product development and life cycle maintenance, often with the help of cloud computing. ISC 2018 went farther than ever before in promoting diversity. Gender diversity, geographic diversity, and age diversity. A wider spectrum of humanity served on the program committees and contributed to the ISC program. That will continue in 2019. ISC makes it a point to nurture young talent through various programs. 2018 marked the second year for the STEM Student Day and the first year for the travel grant program that helps students attend the conference. ISC also offers an orientation session and a newbie corner for first-time attendees. <music> Last but not least, ISC is an event for socializing, for reconnecting with old friends and meeting new acquaintances for a whole host of reasons learning what others are up to, making connections for research, sales, and jobs, or just catching up on personal news. ISC provides a variety of settings for this. <laughs> 2018 was another successful year for ISC, but there's much more to come. Next year's ISC will offer a wide range of opportunities to learn about new developments in HPC systems and applications, along with emerging trends in virtual reality, cloud computing, machine and deep learning, and industrial supercomputing. We thank Horst Simon for serving as the 2018 Program Chair, and we look forward to next year's conference that will be chaired by Yu Tong Lu from the National Supercomputing Center in Guangzhou. Like Horst, she is one of the leading lights of the global HPC community and is sure to have exciting things in store. Speaking of the 2019 program, the call for research papers is open now, and other opportunities to be part of the contributed program will open this fall. Visit the ISC website for more information. The ISC organizers look forward to seeing you again next year.